Good morning, boys and girls. Today in this lecture talk, we'll be going through important questions from immunology and animal biotechnology, paper six, paper. Okay. I have collected here the questions uh, from previous years, Bangalore University paper. Okay. Today, you are going to understand about the collection of important questions from the Bangalore University paper. Now, let us go through the uh, questions of paper immunology and animal biotechnology. Question number one, DNA vaccines for two marks. Question number two, artificially acquired passive immunity, two marks. Third question, adjuvants asked for two marks. Question number four, maintenance of cell line, two marks. Fifth question, explain the fee factors that affect immunogenicity. Five marks. Sixth question, describe sandwich ELISA for five marks. Seventh question, give an account of ABO blood grouping. Add a note on RH typing. Five marks. Eighth question, describe in detail the structure and functions of different types of immunoglobulins. This was asked for 10 marks. Okay. Ninth question, what is hypersensitivity? Explain in detail various mechanisms involved in inducing hypersensitive reaction. Okay, this was asked for 10 marks. Tenth question, give a detailed account of the organs of the immune system. This question probably you may get um, for even 5 marks or maybe for 10 marks. Okay. 10 marks means you need to write this particular uh, organs of the immune system in detail with the diagrammatic representation. For five marks, diagram is not necessary. You can just explain uh, that particular description part. If you give no, that is more than enough. Next, 11th question. What are transgenic animals? Explain the techniques involved in obtaining a transgenic sheep and add a note on its application. Okay, this question asks for 10 marks. 12th question, explain the methods involved in mechanical disaggregation of tissues. This question asked for 10 marks. Okay. Hope you're able to uh, make a note of all this. Kindly write all these questions in your notebook. Okay. And if you have written your own uh, notes, no running notes, uh, kindly make a note wherever you have written. Okay, the answers there you can write this particular question number so that you know the answer for this question, you can make it, you will get the confidence. Twelfth one, explain the methods involved in the mechanical disaggregation of tissues. I've already told you, right? Thirteenth question, humoral immunity, this question asked for two marks. Fourteenth, epitopes, that was asked for two marks. Then PD, GF, two marks. You just try to find out the answer for all these questions. Very shortly, I'll be back with uh, answer for all these questions. Okay, but I need some more time to answer all these questions. 16th question, transformed cells, two marks. 17th question, what are T cells? Explain types of T cells. Okay, this question asked for five marks. 18th question, give an account on ABO blood groups. Add a note on RH factor. This question here they've asked uh, in some university paper they've asked for five marks. Usually you'll get this particular question even for 10 marks. Okay. 19th question What is hypersensitivity? Explain type 1 hypersensitivity in detail. Okay. This question asked for five marks. Even sometimes they ask you this question for 10 marks. 20th question, what is erythropoietin? Explain its role as a growth factor. Okay, this question asked for five marks. If they ask for five marks, no, they'll divide like what is erythropoietin, two marks. And for the, uh, whatever you'll explain the other growth factor, right? That will be carrying another three marks. Okay, and all these questions are very important even for your viva, right? In your fifth and sixth semester, you're going to, uh, or uh, face viva, right? During that viva, all these questions are also very important so that you can focus. Then 21st question, 
recombinant vaccines this question asked for 5 marks then 22nd question describe the structure of antibody molecule explain in detail about immunoglobulin m okay this question asked for 5 marks and even for 10 marks okay being a student you must know how much to write for 5 marks and how much to write for 10 marks in the examination hall if you focus too much or uh, only for this particular uh, answer no writing 3 4 pages like that you won't be able to uh, focus other questions so only you need to think here this based on the marks you must write the answer 23rd question what are lymphoid organs give an elaborate account of primary and secondary lymphoid organs okay 10 marks 24th question explain the techniques involved in generating a transgenic mice and add a note on its significance okay this was asked for 10 marks then 25th question immunofluorescence 2 marks 26th rh factor for 2 marks 27th active immunity 2 marks 28th question transplantation 2 marks 29th question micro injection 2 marks 30th question describe the mechanism of phago cytosis even sometime you'll get only this phago cytosis for 2 marks or 1 mark okay but here this question asks for 5 marks 31st question explain a haptons okay here you have a two divisions haptons and the next one is adjuvants so together this question carries 5 marks that time 2 and half 2 and half marks they are going to divide in the scheme of paper evaluation then 32nd question explain natural media used in animal cell culture for 5 marks 33rd question describe hybridoma technology for 5 marks 34th h chain of antibody right that is for 2 marks h stands for that is heavy chain 35th question louis pasteur or louis pasteur s yes, will be silent for 2 marks 38th question erythropoietin 2 marks or 1 mark also usually you'll get this question 37th one hybridoma cells 2 marks 38th attenuation 2 marks 39th question write a note on types of t lymphocytes this question asked for 5 marks 40th question explain delayed type of hypersensitivity for 5 marks 40 first question write a note on dna vaccines the was this question for 5 marks okay next one is uh, 42nd write a note on serum free media for 5 marks okay 43rd question what is inflammation or just inflammation also you may get 2 marks during viva also all these 2 marks 1 marks questions are very important you can focus okay 44th question explain the barriers of innate immunity for 10 marks 45th question what are growth factors explain egf pdgf ngf okay for 10 marks okay if i am going if i am going very quick you can pause this video and make a note of all these questions try to answer if you have written the uh, running notes no there only you can just write these numbers 43rd question i know the answer wherever your answer is there no there you can write 43rd like that 46th question explain classical pathway of complement activation and a note on functions of complement system this question asked for 10 marks next question explain two divisions they have given here a patterns in odd that is octolony double diffusion then b second part that is phago cytosis so together it is 10 marks it means they'll divide a 5 marks and phago cytosis 5 marks next question give the applications of transgenic sheep and mice this question asked for 10 marks next question here what is transfection for one mark what are hela cell lines this hell you can also write 
in capital okay what are hela cell lines for one mark expand e l i s a eliza for one mark next question who discovered blood groups in man one mark where do b cells mature in birds this question carries one mark expand e d t a one mark what are haptons okay this question usually you may get for one mark and even for two marks the next question name the immunoglobulin which can pass through the placenta one mark name two detergents used for cell disruption this question carries one mark again next question haptons they were asked many time one mark and even for two marks even for five marks next passive immunity for two marks peptide vaccine they were asked for two marks and even for one mark okay the next question here serum that is asked for uh, that question asked for two marks next question write an account on the applications of transgenic sheep this was asked for five marks the next question here discuss the factors affecting anti genicity this question asked for five marks explain the technique of rocket immunoelectrophoresis add a note on its applications this question asked for two marks next question write an account on enzymatic disaggregation of tissues this question asked for five marks next question describe the type 3 hypersensitivity or hypersensitive reaction with an example this question carries five marks even sometimes they may ask you this one for 10 marks next question explain the structure of igm add a note on immunoglobulin types this question asked for 10 marks okay next question explain the production of monoclonal antibodies add a note on its applications this question asked for 10 marks okay if i'm going very quick you can pause this video and make a note of all the questions okay next question write an account on recombinant vaccines discuss their advantages over conventional vaccines for 10 marks next question we have your division that is a and b describe the role of thymidine kinase as a selectable marker okay part b here write an account on the serum free media okay this question book asked for 10 marks then next question again there are two parts five marks five marks each describe the role of spleen as a secondary lymphoid organ okay b explain single radial immunodiffusion add a note on its applications okay 10 marks okay kindly be with me are not losing anything uh, usually you may get also uh, some of the questions in viva so pay attention the method of using electric current to introduce dna into a cell is called they have given the uh, choice here okay four options you have got here into choose one answer electroplating or electrophoresis or electroporation or lipofection this question asked for one mark dash immunoglobulin can cross placenta if you know the answer you can answer there this question for one mark what are epitopes one mark cd4 plus are surface receptors present on dash cells this carries one mark next question what are transformed cell lines this question asked for one mask or two mark next question a gene that has been introduced into a multicellular organism is called transgene cis gene pro gene or post gene for one mark dash was awarded the nobel prize for developing the technique of radio immuno assay this question asked for one mark next question appearance of spur in odd 
indicates a line of identity b line of partial identity c line of non identity d none of the above okay for one mark you need to choose any one answer next question what are interleukins this question you may get for one mark even for two marks dash r the granulocytes sites with multi lobed nucleus okay this question asked for one mark this is multi lobed okay spelling mistake is there m u l t i next question active immunity for one mark even they may ask you this particular question for two marks all one mark two marks you keep in your mind usually you will get those questions during your viva next question is adjuvant this question asked for one mark next question membrane attack complex one mark allergy one mark plasma clot one mark hope you are with me are you with me yes i know you are with me okay next question let us go through the next question here differentiate between cell mediated and humoral immunity this question asked for five marks okay next question give a brief description of the structure of igg this for asked for five marks the next question what are expression vectors explain with suitable examples five marks next question explain the applications of monoclonal anti bodies five marks okay if you know the answer if you are ready with all your notes you can also do one thing after my questions you can pause this video and you can go through the answer or you can recall the answer if you know that particular question answer okay don't neglect yourself do not underestimate yourself just uh, put an attempt next question write about the importance of serum in animal cell culture medium five marks define antigen explain its character and factors influencing antigen antigenicity okay this for this question is for 10 marks next question explain the role of different immune system cells in immunity okay this question carries 10 marks next describe the properties and functions of complement system for 10 marks the next question elucidate the requirements for the growth of animal cell in vitro this question was asked for uh, 10 marks are you with me okay great thank you the next question describe the techniques involved in the production of transgenic animals this question asked for 10 marks okay the next question here what is acquired immunity one mark okay next what is trypsinization one mark which type of hypersensitivity sensitivity is known as delayed type of hypersensitivity a delayed type hypersensitivity for one mark what are attenuated vaccines for one mark they were asked what is a fluorochrome they were asked for one mark the next question here which part of the antibody is labeled with radio isotope in ria this question asked for one mark the next question here what is chemically defined media there was this question for one mark all the questions have taken here from the university so do not neglect try to answer all these questions okay kindly be familiar with all these questions because these are very basic uh, questions what are continuous cell lines this question asked for one mark expand hgprt this question asked for one mark the next question active immunity this question asked for two marks then a granulocytes this question asked for 
two marks. When you are studying eight granulocytes, you must also keep in your mind granulocytes. To this, sometimes there was gran a granulocytes. Maybe for in your paper, in some question paper, you may get granulocytes. So please recall those uh, granulocytes also. Next question: branches of immunology. This question asked for two marks in the university paper. Hope you are with me. Next question here. What are antibodies? Discuss the structure of IgA with the neat labeled diagram. There was this question for five marks. Even you may get this type of question for 10 marks. In the previous slides, we went through IgM and IgG. Now here they've asked IgA. So IgM, IgG, and IgE are most important one. IgD, Ig. Whereas IgE, you are going to write in hypersensitivity only. Usually IgD will be asked very less. Okay, usually you may get this IgD for one mark or two marks. So you need to focus on IgA, IgG and IgM. Next question here, add a note on EGF and FGF. This question asked for five marks. Okay, next question here, explain the role of serum in culture media. This question asked for five marks. The next question here, explain primary lymphoid organs for five marks. Only primary lymphoid organs. Okay. Next, define immunogenicity and antigenicity. Okay. Next, same uh, in the same question, explain the types of immunity. Okay. Total together, you are going to answer for 10 marks. The next question, describe A and B. A is octolone double diffusion. In short, what do you say this? O, D, D. Okay, O, D, D stands octolone double diffusion. B, that is antigen antibody reaction. In general, you need to elaborate on antigen and antibody reaction for five marks. But together it's 10 marks. They'll divide A as 5 marks and B as 5 marks. Then next question here, define primary cell culture and explain enzymatic method of tissue disaggregation. This question they asked for 10 marks. Define complement system, describe the classical pathway. This question for 10 marks. Briefly explain peptide and DNA vaccines. This question asked for 10 marks. The next question here, erythroblastosis fetalis. This question they've asked for one mark. Okay. Next question is, next question here, what is edible vaccine for one mark? Define antiserum, one mark. What are adjuvants? One mark. What is allergy? One mark. Define phagocytosis, one mark. What is agglutination? One mark. What is BSS? That is uh, balanced salt solution. So what are balanced salt solution? You may also get for one mark. Erythropoiesis, one mark. Tissue extract, one mark. Describe the type three hypersensitive reaction with an example, five marks. Next question, write a note on interleukin first and second for five marks. The next question here, write a note on A, scope of immunology, B, branches of immunology. This question asked for uh, five marks. Next, explain types of animal cell culture media, add a note on balanced salt solution. Okay, this question they've asked for 10 marks. Here, next question, define complement system and explain components and properties of complement system. Next question here, explain principle, procedure and applications of ELISA and radioimmunoassay for 10 marks. Next question here, write a note on transgenic sheep, B, blood cell and its components. Next question, define cell strain for one mark, transgenic mice for one mark, define plasma, one mark, who discovered blood typing 
for one mark. Next question here. What is heme agglutination? One mark. What is trypsinization? This question asked for one mark. What is opsonization? For one mark. What are antigen presenting cells? For one mark are define APC. They asked this question for one mark. Okay. Next question is here. Serum for one mark, monoclonal antibodies for one mark, autoimmunity, one mark, NK cells, that is natural killer cells, one mark. Directly, they may also ask you natural killer cells. Then hat selection, one mark. Sometimes even you get this hat selection for five marks. What is natural media? Explain the types with examples. Five marks. What are vaccine? Discuss the production of recombinant vaccine for five marks. Write a note on RH typing, five marks. And this RH typing can also include erythroblastosis fetalis. And also you can write about uh, primary immune response and uh, secondary immune response by taking in your mind about erythroblastosis fetalis to fulfill the five marks. Next question, explain the process of production of monoclonal antibodies for five marks. Explain active and passive immunity for five marks. Explain the techniques and applications of transgenic animals. They have asked this question for 10 marks. Describe types of hypersensitivity. Add a note on type one and second hypersensitivity. They have asked this question for 10 marks, okay? Now let us go through the, the next question. Write a note on blood cell components and explain ABO blood typing for 10 marks. What are primary lymphoid organs? Describe its structure and functions, 10 marks. Define cell transfection, explain the techniques. There was this for 10 marks. Next, PDGF, one mark. What are abazims? One mark. What is protein-free media? for one mark, define peptide vaccines for one mark, define transgenesis, one mark, name the antibody present in breast milk for one mark, explain, sorry, example of expression vector, one mark, then RIA, there was this question for one mark, okay, then secondary cell culture, for one mark, list the types of immunity. There was this question for one mark, okay? Now let us go to the next question. What are selectable markers? There was this question for two marks. Next question, write a note on micro injection technique of DNA transfer, five marks. Briefly explain different cell lineages of the immune system for 10 marks. List the different techniques of transfection for one mark. List the different types of T cells for one mark they asked. Define animal biotechnology for one mark. List the growth factors in animal biotechnology for one mark. Define chemically defined media. Give example, this question asked for two marks. Next question here, briefly describe applications of animal tissue culture. This question asked for five marks. Write a note on transfection of animal cell lines. This question asked for 10 marks. Or you may get this question for five marks. The last question here is hat selection. You can write this, uh, this particular question for two marks, one mark, and even for five marks, you must be able to elaborate. Okay, hope you understood today's all these uh, collection of important questions from the Bangalore University previous year papers. Okay, I, Dr. Pratibha K, signing off for today. Stay tuned with me. I'll be back with some more videos. Kindly share my video to other needy students and also like and subscribe this channel to support. Thank you everyone for being with me. Thank you.